So it's time to mount the um, power module. Um, so go ahead and flip your quad copter upside down, like that. And we're going to fit um, the power module right here. Um, because the camera wire is going down on the other side. So we're going to fit it on this side, pre-tin it. So now you've got it pre-tinned, you want to go ahead and um, attach it to the power module here. Of course, solder this to, to this. So lead it in this way. And as you can see, we're going to simply solder it on. So now we're going to go ahead and do it on the minus side. Alright, so this is now soldered up. You can see um, the black wires are, they weren't able to reach. Um, so make sure to measure it correctly um, to make it able to reach. I just soldered a small wire here um, to the platform. And I took off the connector and soldered some um, pretty long wires for a new connector uh, to the power module. So once we've got this figured out, there's a quite a lot we want to cover with the Plasti Dip. So we're going to cover this with Plasti Dip. So this is basically the first layer of Plasti Dip, the first coat of Plasti Dip um, to electrically isolate um, this um, power module. So we're just gonna go ahead and let that dry for 10 10 to 20 minutes and then come back and give it a a second coat a second layer so the fifth coat there and the fourth coat there and it looks good so uh, now we're going to tighten it down with some zip ties so just go ahead and zip tie it down and um, the two power wires that we mounted for the battery connector the two long ones just go ahead and lead that up through a hole with two ESC wires come down because it's going to go up to the top plate before we solder on a connector. Okay, so once you have mounted the power module underneath and make sure that it is waterproof, it's time to mount the other, the uh, rest of the electronics. Okay, up on the front we have the camera, and the wire for the camera goes underneath here and comes up here as a grey wire, as you can see, and goes underneath and up here again to this. Um, video transmitter and um, it actually um, works quite well in that solution and um, I just mounted the transmitter with some velcro and on the top plate here you want to go ahead and mount the telemetry module uh, for the Pixhawk up front so it will be mounted like this and uh, you want to go ahead and mount the buzzer somewhere as well okay so you got a top plate here where you mounted the telemetry module and the buzzer um, and now just go ahead and screw this um, plate here off and mount the receiver on the underside of this um, so that the wire is going to point that way so it's going to be plugged into the pixel this way. Um, so mount that with just some double sided tape. So as you can see in this diagram here, um, the front left motor is motor number 3. So motor number 3 should be connected to the main output port here on um, the, the, the port number three here on the main outputs. So connect this to port number three, as you can see in this diagram as well. And uh, connect, so the front right motor is motor number one, so you connect that to the, mo so to the main out one output there. Um, and then the, the, the rear right motor is, is motor number four and connect that to the main output number four and the the rear left motor is uh, motor number two so connect that to the number two and, and if you have sort of, uh, some sort of camera uh, module connectors um, go ahead and connect that to port seven um, like like I do down here okay so now we're going to mount the top plate here but we have a, we have a few wires that um, need to, needs to be connected uh, first before we can do this. For example, the receiver and the telemetry module and that's that kind of stuff in the buzzer. So uh, we just move this wire down through here. So when that's been plugged in, we'll just turn this in the right orientation here. 
and we want to mount uh, or connect up the buster like that and the telemetry module here just like that so now that we have connected this we want to move um, the GPS module up through here just like that and then we want to move the wires for the antenna down here to the side and the other one is going up through this hole right here like that and then we want to mount this top plate here on this on this plate um, with loctite bolts just before we start mounting this top plate um, there's, there's just um, a small bit bits of preparation we need to do um, so you if you have a stand uh, a GPS stand like I do here um, this is obviously too high as you can see so you want to go ahead and just glue this um, mount I suppose that's called on the the, uh, the GPS and then place this where it's supposed to be um, so I've got four holes right here so approximately there and then we're going to line this up here and we're going to see where we need to cut this which is approximately there take a cutter here and mark it up so we've actually marked this spot where you need to cut it so now just go ahead and mount this um, antenna when you've cut this uh, antenna holder when you've cut this carbon tube to length um, and now I want to go ahead and unscrew these um, arms so you, you might want to um, support them so now that we have screwed these in and tightened them up all the way both underneath and on top we want to go ahead and mount all the rest of the screws okay when you've assembled this uh, we're going to level up the motors now um, so and then simply just go ahead and tighten the, the screws up, but not um, tighten them so much you can't move this motor about, but tighten them enough um, so that it, it stays where you put it. So now the cool feature is we're going to use a smartphone because as you know, an iPhone or a smartphone has um, some sort of, of water leveler or, or level a checker. And, um, and just go ahead and take a piece of wood and, and drill a three millimeter hole in that put it over the motor here and place your iPhone on top and then just simply by looking at this um, this iPhone and this smartphone try placing it so you get an exact fit so that's right there and then as you know the motor is staying where it is because you're not um, completely loosened those screws just go ahead and slowly tighten the screws and just go ahead and do that to the rest of the motors so we know they're all lined up. Just the last thing you're going to do uh, before we're going to set the pixel, pixel up is just add some um, anti slippery rubbery thing on top of this plate right here. I just mounted it on a cardboard um, as you can see just the cardboard to, to avoid the screws here when it, when it pressed down. Um, so the batteries doesn't get damaged by the screws. Um, so yeah, just go ahead and mount that and uh, we're actually finished. Um, and we're just going to flash the Pixhawk now and set up the Pixhawk and, and test fly it. So thank you for watching. Um, please subscribe, please give this video a thumbs, thumbs up and um, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!